they should definitely bring this to the Philippines. True wireless earphones called the Razer Hammer. So one of the biggest surprises from Sony this year. Hey guys, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And for this episode, I'm going to bring you guys along me. We're going to check out CES, the Consumer Electronics Show here in Las Vegas. of the day since we will be doing a lot of walking one of my most comfortable sneakers we have the off-white nike prestos og by the way since we're here if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please make sure that you do so why we do giveaways so make sure that you hit that subscribe button thumbs up and then click the link down below for the rest of the mechanics of our amazing giveaway okay guys for our first stop here in ces in las vegas we're going to check out all of the different products that lenovo has to offer we're going to see a foldable laptop a foldable well a foldable screen laptop we're going to check out the motorola razor which is a small phone that has a foldable display as well so you pop it open and then you see the phone and then we're also going to check out all of their other laptops and devices that they have here available for launch at ces 2020. we have over here the motorola razor with the foldable screen so this kind of gives me a throwback to when i was much younger so what happens is this actually flips open and the foldable screen mechanism wow that looks so much better than the galaxy note sorry samsung <laughs> wow take a look at that guys so the folding mechanism is here so you have the hinge and then there's an external display and a camera so if you just need something to you know take a look at notifications you don't have to fully open it and you can also take photos take selfies in a small form factor like this one however if you want to make calls or if you want to watch movies if you want to do something else then you can open it like this they should definitely bring this to the philippines omg this looks friggin great and we have over here guys the lenovo thinkpad x1 fold so this is the laptop that has a foldable display so if you want to use it as some sort of book it looks like that if you want to use it as some sort of like tablet or full-blown pc with the keyboard it works like that or if you want to use this as some sort of like clamshell device slash tablet or some sort of productivity machine you can also use it like so so this is one of the biggest trends that we're seeing the commercialization and the mass adoption of foldable displays we saw it with this laptop and we saw it with the motorola razor and we expect to see more in the coming months coming years ahead definitely an exciting time for consumer technology i'm here with hope from lenovo you're with no lenovo right and one of the biggest trends that we're seeing here is the rise of voice so they're integrating voice assistants with laptops that have that are closed and they're actually able to stream it with smart tabs uh, that are also powered by alexa so hope maybe you can do like a quick tour or example for this one how it how it works here so Alexa with the screen open um, so you can utilize the announcement feature so Alexa announce dinner is ready dinner is ready <laughs> that's awesome here we have the yoga c940 um, coming out in summer of 2020 you actually have the lid close feature so you can still speak to Alexa as long as your computer's in sleep mode Alexa what is the date today it's today's Tuesday, Tuesday, January 7th. Oh, that's awesome. So you're, it's, it's like trying to make voice more accessible and user-friendly, right? Exactly. Your laptop's sitting on the table. You don't want to take the time to open it. You can still utilize it. So it's all about like a better user experience. So exactly. about this one? This one so looks weird. <laughs> this one's a little bit different. So you have the lid close feature, but on top of that, you have the e-ink screen. So with the lid closed, it's almost like you have the visual of what's happening inside on the exterior of the uh, ThinkBook. So you can utilize Alexa. This is just going to be a prototype here, but you would be able to speak to her just like you do the lid closed. So without having to open the laptop. Correct. So. Now one of the things that Lenovo is doing is that they're diversifying their laptop offering. So this one is specifically made for creators. So people who do digital content, video editing, photo editing, design, this should work really well. So it's your typical clamshell design. Uh, it has an IPS FHD display and it's pretty much a really kick-ass looking laptop uh, and it looks super sleek so apart from this one 
They also have like their gaming gear over here from Legion. So most of the gadgets that you see here are specifically made for the gamer in mind. So the laptop, the design, the look, the feel, the power is built for gamers and they even have like different displays that are specifically made for gaming. They also came out with accessories such as this one, which is the Lenovo uh, Legion M300 RGB gaming mouse. And we even have this boost station, uh, which also jacks up the power of the laptop for more intense gaming. We have some of the new stuff from Razer. They have true wireless earphones called the Razer Hammerhead True Wireless. They also have the Razer Kishi for Android, which is some so sort of like, I don't know, like controller, uh, the kind that looks like a switch. And they also have the Razer Sila 5G home router. So that's going to be important when 5G gets rolled out uh, more expansively, not just in the Philippines, but of course all around the world. This one is a phone case featuring World of Warcraft. Of course, we have the logo of the Horde here at the back. And so we have the Razer Arctic Pro. This one is in black and gold. So apparently it has a therma fin layer, which helps cool your phone while you are gaming. We also have this one. So they look really nice. You have the Razer logo over there. Great for gaming for your mobile. So talking about retro, this one sells for $29.99. And this one, the pocket game is like $39. It carries like three games. So if you want to play Pac-Man on this one, really gives you that old retro gaming vibe. They even have like Street Fighter, one of my favorite games when I was a kid. So it's over here. Where's that? Ah, this one. So there you go. Street Fighter in Contra. Awesome. So one of the biggest surprises from Sony this year, the Vision S. Yep, they announced the car. Who would have thought that? So this is what the car looks like. A lot of smart features on board, as you can see from the dashboard. Uh, it's like a full touch display from the mirrors, so all of the information being displayed to the controls of the car. Oh man, it just looks really futuristic. CES last night, we announced the Vision S, which is our electric, all electric vehicle. It's a prototype vehicle that basically shows you our collective uh, vision when it comes to the mobility space. So showing you what we're looking to do with evolving uh, entertainment, enhanced safety, comfort, reliability. You see it right there. So from an in-cabin look, we have, if you look back here, so we have a full panoramic screen so where you can actually enjoy entertainment from it. You can do things like um, navigation. You can even slide the navigation over to the passenger side. Uh, utilizing time of flight sensors, it can actually personalize the experience. So as soon as you walk in, you can even adjust things like the seats. And you've got uh, your rear view displays and rear view mirrors. Yeah, so it's... But no plans of mass production. No plans of mass production. We're here at Pitaka, so they are... Uh, I know, like an accessory company, right, for phones. So we have over here their iPhone case, which is made from Aramid fiber. So it's supposed to be like the same material that's used for sports cars. Now, what's interesting about this one is that it's magnetic and it can actually attach to the different accessories that they have. So this is, I think, like a desktop charger. So you just put it like there and it charges. So that's how it works. So it's easy to be to use, easy to put on. And then if they also have another accessory which actually comes with a power bank. So you just put it like that, it will charge, and you can actually slide it out with the power bank. Boom. That is awesome. So you can just go keep on going around with the power bank attached to the phone. They also have another accessory for the car. So if you're driving, so you just put it like that in your car. And again, your phone is already charging. So again, this is the Pitaka Mag AZ case set with the Aramid fiber material. So sells for, I think, $100 for the entire set. The product that they have is the Omni 6-in-1 charger. So it's one like charging station that's wirelessly powered that can charge your phone, that can charge your watch, that can charge your AirPods, and can even charge your iPad. Now, you're probably thinking that, is it only like a USB-C connector for this one? It can actually change. So there is a toggle. Which is the button that you press again? See? So it can change depending on whatever it is that you guys need. So again, this one is from Petaka as well. Their Omni 6-in-1 charge. Hi guys, I'm Gian of Gadget Pilipinas. We talk about CES 2020 and uh, the favorite stuff that I actually saw here. Number one would be uh, Vision S. 
ni uh, Toyota for the first time ever nag-release sila at nag-announce sila ng, ng, ano, ng kotse <laughs> okay that's a break away from the, what they usually do the second one is of course also from Sony uh, they have there a display yung Octo one I think that's the car from Ghostbusters I like it the set is fantastic and another thing that I saw is of course the latest products from MSI syempre uh, I, I'm here for them but more than anything else I saw their latest laptops and it's fantastic sobrang light and fast so I guess that's uh, that's for me and again, GN of Gadget Pilipinas. So I invite you guys to uh, check out my channel. It's uh, gadgetpilipinas.net for our website. And also we have youtube.com slash gadgetpilipinas. Like and subscribe, guys. Thank you. As you guys can see, we're back here in the hotel, uh, MGM Grand. And man, I am tired. CES is whew, so many people. Apparently, I was talking to the taxi driver. 200,000 people flew in just for CES. And that's probably the reason why the Las Vegas Boulevard is kind of stuck in traffic because of so many people who came in just for the convention. Anyway, what of all the devices, of all the gadgets, did you guys like the most? Let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear from all of you on which gadget is your favorite. Is or is it any of the foldable, you know, phones or laptops? Is it the Marvel massage chair, the phone cases, the razor gear? Let me know which device you love the most. And uh, yeah, I just like to hear from all of you. Guys, I hope you're all doing well there in the Philippines. I still have a couple more vlogs for you coming here from Las Vegas. I have the unboxing vlog. I have a few more shopping vlogs also planned. And yeah, having a good time here. And I hope all of you are also doing well back there. Uh, shout out to the wife. I miss you. I love you. Coming home soon. Peace. God bless. What's up, everyone? Boom.